So in this video, I wanted to talk about the Stock MVP dashboard, some of its features, and more importantly, what's coming in the very near future. Once you've logged into your account, you click the dashboard button, and you will be welcomed onto your Stock MVP dashboard. Now, first things first, as you will see at the top, you will have this scrolling bar at the top. If you hover over, you will see the individual stock. As time goes on, this bar will actually be your watch list. We're just working on a way to plug that in correctly. Now, moving on from left to right, first things first, on the left, you have the current indices, futures, bonds, and Forex. Again, you will be able to customize this watch list as time goes on. Next, you'll have the most active gainers on the current day you're looking or the last trading day. You've got the gainers, the losers, and the most active and you can even look at the chart very briefly here. On the right, you will see the Stock MVP Twitter. If you want to keep up to date with what's coming on Stock MVP, go and give it a follow. -up. Now, scrolling down, you will have your watch list. You can simply add a stock here very, very easily by just clicking the little plus mark here, and we could add in a stock. Let's add in, I don't know, Microsoft, and there you go. That is now on our watch list. Now, from this page, we do have to go back to our dashboard to see it in play, but it's just a simple click of the mouse. Now you can see I have just added Microsoft. You can see it down there with some very basic information. Again, as time goes on, this information you see here, we will be looking to fully customize it. You can click one of these forms to go straight to that stock's profile, or you can just simply click on the actual ticker. On the right, you will see the recently viewed stocks, which is all the stocks you've currently looked at. So if you forgot what name you were currently on, you will see it there. And scrolling down, we've got the latest news and also some generic news. Again, as time goes on, we're going to be linking into big news outlets such as the Wall Street Journal. We're just waiting to see what the current demand is from our users before we select which news source to actually go for. As it stands, that is literally your dashboard. If you've got any questions, drop it down in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And at the recording of this video, there is still currently some founder members discounts available, but when they're gone, they're gone. So if you want to lock in over 50% discount for life, go and check it out down on the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.